All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Osaka, Japan, the Great! All right, Griffin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Great punch landed with so much power. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. And they separate. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, huge head kick. Oh! There's no tell on that leg kick. 
continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And they separate. Good defense to block the strike coming down. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Be first, be first. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Let's focus, let's focus now. Oh, nice right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And he comes through with a big knee. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh, he stuns him with that knee to the head. Already close the call, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into it. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. All right, single collar tie now. Just missed with the left there. Ooh, big shot land. The combinations are flowing. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, nice knee to the head forward there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. His misses are entertaining. Check the high kick. And they separate. Ten seconds to go in round one. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, you heard it bad with the jab. Body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. He's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Nice punch lands over the top. He landed that inside leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. 
nice punch land over power. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Flush right hand is true. Big kick lands. Oh, collar tie. Beautiful strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Head kick. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Trying to stay in this fight! Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tights. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Liver kick, left hand punch with the clinch. How about that chin? Got the single collar tie. Leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice punch here. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on note. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, that's a nice strike. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And he caught the kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, big elbow. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. in the single collar tie. 10 We're minutes in, in the books. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did. And they both found success over the course of that round. Breathe, 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 breathe. Relax, you okay? All right, get some water. 
All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. All right, single collar tie now. He got the turtle in that kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. That elbow knocked him apart very quick in that punch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Lock oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice kick. Takedown defense holds up. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Good punch, Lance. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. All oh, collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. There you go. Look for the shot. Nice strike. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, tags him with that money left again. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. See an efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop the You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. 45 seconds remain in the round. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Yeah. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, the ground and pound is there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. 
All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Whoa! He's hurt, He's hurt bad. Back to his feet. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop this contest at 37 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by... Oh, 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 no. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.